Okay guys, I just caught up with David Silverman, editor of this program, and of course, Sound and Communications Magazine, and he sent me over to Digico to check up on what's going on over there. Now I was told I need to find this webby guy. Found this webby guy right here. Now, Webby, I was told that before we do this interview, um, you need to sit on your hands. Okay, so I've got to feel my own ass for a change. <laughs> now that his hands are properly placed, here we go. Tell me what's going on at the show this year. I haven't got a clue, but let me think. Uh, oh, yes, uh, we're here uh, as Digico with Group One. Can I actually move my hands? I think so. Oh, if you're well behaved. Okay. okay, let's start over. Seriously, I mean, what is happening at the show this year with Digico? Uh, well, we've uh, brought a few new things here. We've got some new software on, available on all the consoles. It uh, allows you uh, to expand your SD11 uh, and SD9, gives you more channels, more buses. Um, it also allows you to connect to optical boxes, so you can have an infrastructure uh, on optics uh, and also with Broman and Clearcom. So we're connected, there's a, a yellow cable here going between us that's Fiber and Clearcom. Uh, we, we can communicate video and audio, so it's a big infrastructure of I.O. Um, we also have the new D2 rack, which is a 96K rack uh, at a cost-effective package to go with uh, SD9s and SD8s. Uh, 